we greet you in the master's name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. God has blessed us with this day, this moment, this time to give him glory, honor and praise. And as we gather together as a body of believers, amen, a body of believers in Christ Jesus, amen. We solicit your prayers as we pray for you, as we pray for each other, it is very, very, very important that when crisis like this or any crisis come in your life, amen, that we don't turn on one another, amen, that we work with one another, amen, hallelujah, amen. And so uh, it's important even as believers, amen, that we don't turn on one another, but that, that we work together as a team, amen, to build up the kingdom. Amen. To build up this most holy faith. Amen. So we thank God. Amen. That we have a God of peace. He is Jehovah Shalom. He is the God of peace. Amen. Hallelujah. He brings the peace that surpasses all understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And so uh, we are people of peace. We are people of grace. We are peace of people of love. And so, amen. When, when anything comes up, Amen. A wise man once said the only good thing you can take through a, a crisis is your conduct during it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So we want to have great conduct through, during this crisis or any other crisis that we may uh, come upon in our life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because we are important to the kingdom. We are important. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, to the to the lives of the people of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And so it is uh, essential. And that's our subject today. Amen. Hallelujah. Essential personnel. Amen. Hallelujah. It's essential personnel. Hallelujah. So, so we 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 know that we are important to God. We know that we are important to the kingdom. Hallelujah. But what we need to know as believers in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. That we are in, in essential to one another and important to one another. Amen. Hallelujah. As believers in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And so uh, we need to amen, love one another. Amen. We need to lift up one another. Hallelujah. We need to show love one toward another. We need to show forth the praises. Amen. Of him who brought us out of darkness and, and, and brought us into this marvelous light. Hallelujah. And so um, you that are here, there and everywhere know that God is with you. Amen. Hallelujah. That he's covering you, that he's blessing you. Even in the midst of this crisis, he's blessing you and you have to stand amen and be counted and be stand and be a witness amen the word essential means absolutely necessary extremely important you know they're calling amen for essential personnel only to be out amen and to do, do their job nurses and policemen firemen amen restaurant workers you work in the drive-thru or delivery service Amen. Hallelujah. Grocery stores and all those places that people can get goods and services that they need for their life. Those are essential. Amen. And even not even during this crisis, but amen, during holidays or amen, you hear them say essential workers, essential, <laughs> excuse me, essential personnel. Only, amen, and usually sometimes uh, from a manager's perspective, amen, oftentimes the essential personnel are salary employees. In other words, we have contracts and we got to pay you no matter what so the hourly employees can stay home, amen, hallelujah, and then they'll call in uh, the essential employees, mean the salary. We're going to be paying y'all anyway, so y'all might as well come in and work extra hours and 10 hours and different things depending on your contract read those contracts before you sign them hallelujah because your life is in them contracts and so they are essential and not just because of their their skill their skill set they're essential because amen we pay you salary amen and so we need you on on site on site even when others can't make it but there are some because of their skill set 
Amen. Managers and people that really know their job and they're vital to the business. Amen. They are called you in. Amen. At times and sometimes all times in the night and come in early, stay up late. Amen. Because because what you do, your skill set is needed. Amen. Hallelujah. For uh, that particular job. And I submit to you today in this subject today, essential personnel. Amen. That you are essential to the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. That God needs you. He needs your skill set. He needs your testimony. Amen. Because many uh, believers in Christ Jesus may not know how God's going to deliver in this. Amen. Pandemic. Amen. But we know that God is a deliverer. We know who God is. We've seen his works. Hallelujah. We've seen his power. We've seen his authority. We've seen him move. Hallelujah. In a divine way. So we know that he can. We don't know how, but we know he can. Hallelujah. We know that he has authority over everything. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I get to rocking because sometimes my voice goes in and out. And they, and they say, Pastor, going in and out. I say, I'm rocking back and forth. Y'all got to pray for me because I get excited about God and I get excited about God's word. Amen. So first Peter two, second, so many scriptures. Amen. Hallelujah. He was quoting the Old Testament. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But he's also sharing with the, 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 the current church of that day. Amen. And the church of today, because we're reading it. Amen. Hallelujah. To let them know, don't do like everybody else is doing. Don't act like the world. Don't love the world, even the things of the world, for these things are not of God. Amen. We are different than a non-believers. That's what they call us believers. Amen. I could put Timothy right on there. Yes, I'm a believer. Amen. Hallelujah. They call us believers because believers believe. We trust God. We look to God in every situation. Whatever's going through in our lives, we look to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is the source of our strength. God is the strength of our life. Amen. So Peter's telling them, amen. Hallelujah. In first Peter two and nine, but ye are, what, what are us? What are we? We talk about the political, the politics of it. Amen. The medical aspects of it, uh, where it came from. Amen. How it got here. Hallelujah. We go into a whole lot of things and yeah, it should be investigated. People lost their lives. Amen. They have a murder. They have a detective that goes and try to solve that murder. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because that life was essential. Maybe not to that person, but to somebody. Amen. And to God, every life is essential. You all are essential personnel. God looked at everything that he created and behold, hallelujah, it was all good. In other words, God didn't create it for nothing. It has a purpose. I heard somebody say, amen, they did heart surgery. Amen. Triple bypass. Amen. Quadruple bypass. Amen. And they, and they say, well, uh, the body has an extra vein. Amen. In the leg that you can use. Amen. And so it, it's just uh, nature. Amen. Hallelujah. And even God, they, they aspired it to God, ascribed it to God and said, amen. Even God put that extra vein in there just so that we can have heart surgery. What about all the years they didn't have heart surgery? Amen. Hallelujah. What were those veins that's down in the grave of dust now? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I submit to you. Amen. It's not an extra vein, but we just don't know what it's used for. Hallelujah. Just like they say, we only use 10% of our brain. I submit to you, amen, that we use more than 10% of our brain. And I believe, amen, we just know they, they only know, amen, hallelujah, or understand 10%. Amen. So, and, they, and they speak a, a statement, what I think is a very ignorant, uh, ignorant statement of saying that we only use 10%. Y'all only understand 10%. Amen. Hallelujah. The other 90 is, is divine. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And that's something he gave a tenth of our sense. Hallelujah. He tithed our sense. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We only know 10%. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God knows the rest. Amen. Hallelujah. He tithed us what we can understand. 10%. Hallelujah. Amen. Of our own brains. Thank you, Jesus. But every creature that God created, he did it for a purpose. And every person, I don't, they can do the, the death count. That's why I just cut the news off because they start with a death count. Amen. How many people died and they don't go into people's lives. You can pick, you can't pick one person out of that group. 
amen, who passed away. And I, and I like this program on YouTube, Good News. It's, it's called Good News, amen. And they're sharing the positive things people are doing during this pandemic and uh, talking about the people that recovered, old and young. Uh, you don't hear about that. Seniors, a man, 104 was released, amen, a war, uh, war veteran, amen, was released out of the hospital. And 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 they had a big celebration and party for his release out of the hospital. Amen. I asked him what happened. He said, I don't know. He just went away. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So it was some good news going on out there. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Not just a death count. Those are people's lives and every life is essential and every life is precious. Amen. Hallelujah. But ye are a chosen generation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody that's older. I was thinking about my mom who passed my dad, even my dad and them not having to worry about whether they're going to catch it or anything like that. Amen. Hallelujah. And those that passed away before that. Amen. And we were born when we was born. We grew up when we grew up. Hallelujah. Whatever generation you are, if you're here now, you are the chosen generation. You are the generation of this time of this moment right here, right now. Amen. Hallelujah. A royal priesthood. We ca we have divine bloodline through the Holy Ghost, through the power of God. I don't know about your own blood. Amen. You got to do that those uh, DNA tests. Amen. And find out where you're from and all that. Who your cousin is, and your mom and daddy. In some cases, Hallelujah. But when it comes to Christ, Hallelujah. We are a royal priesthood. He is Hallelujah. The King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. Amen. We are a holy nation. That's what He told Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. You was chosen by God to represent God to all the other nations. And now is a perfect time to represent the kingdom. Now is a perfect time. Hallelujah. To stand up as the royal priesthood of God. Hallelujah. A holy nation, a peculiar people. Y'all not running scared. No, we are concerned. Hallelujah. No, none of us want to die. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Not that we don't understand death and, 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 and this thing is horrible and taking people out of here. It had nothing to do with that. Amen. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I shall not trust. Hallelujah. The sweetest frame to set up by the devil. Hallelujah. With a holy lean on Jesus' name, on Christ, the side of rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. I, I'm, I might be peculiar to you. I might be strange to you, but it makes perfect sense to my God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The God we serve is able to deliver. Oh, King, we're not careful to answer you in this matter. For the God we serve is able to deliver. And if we don't deliver, I won't bow down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Not that I don't understand who you are. Not that I don't understand your power and your authority. And you are the King. You reign. Hallelujah. Here on earth. Amen. You reign in Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar. Hallelujah. But your power and your authority, you're out of your jurisdiction when it comes to my God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're out of your jurisdiction. Your arms are too short to box with my God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that should, we should, we really should. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Should is usually right and should is usually late. We find out later on, I should have praised him doing it. Hallelujah. Every day I wake up, I should have gave him a praise. Amen. Hallelujah. God, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Every day you see the new morning. Hallelujah. It's getting close, y'all. It's touching people that right there that you know and you heard of. Amen. We see, we hear names on Facebook and people on Facebook that we know. Amen. Some are family members. Amen. Hallelujah. That have died from this. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Mourn those. Amen. Weep with them that weep. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And honor the lives of the people that have passed. Hallelujah. But thank God every day. Every day you see that sun. Hallelujah. Every day that you wake up, give God praise. We ought to show forth the praises of him who have called us out of darkness. Amen. Hallelujah. Called you out of darkness, people are saying, into this marvelous light, into this marvelous walk of God, into this marvelous walk of redemption redemption and salvation and deliverance and healings and blessings of the Lord that maketh written that no sorrow to it. Hallelujah. We ought to show forth 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let them see you praising him. Let them see you giving him glory. And this, this network, they were showing folk giving God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And giving God praise doing this and through this. Amen. People are out praising God and magnifying his holy name, singing, amen, amazing grace. Amen. The, the, that, that, that great orator, amen, was from Italy, amen, was standing out there singing amazing grace, singing church songs. Usually he's singing, amen, operas, amen, hallelujah. But he was out singing amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found blind, but now I see. It is time for us as believers, hallelujah, not just to say, uh, say a word of encouragement because the people need it, hallelujah, not just to bring them into salvation because they need saving, hallelujah, but we ought to be showing forth the praises of him who called us out of darkness, hallelujah, because that's the greatest pandemic there ever been, hallelujah, there is no other lesser than sin itself. Hallelujah. How many people have died? How many people have committed suicide or killed somebody else? Hallelujah. Because of sin. Hallelujah. How many people been taken down? Ding, 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 ding. No more calls. We have a winner. Hallelujah. It is sin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And wherein he died, he died unto sin once and for all. He done it for us. He did it for you. You didn't think about. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When you got the Holy Ghost that you would need it for such a time as this. Hallelujah. You didn't think about the time he healed you and delivered you and set you free. Hallelujah. Made a way out of nowhere. Showed you, as Luke said to Theopolis, with many infallible proofs. How have he shown you his power, his authority? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His will. He has shown it to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Not just for you to say thank you, Jesus. And that's all right. Nothing wrong with it. Hallelujah. But right now in this pandemic, you already know the delivering power of God. Hallelujah. We have seen, as John said, we have seen with our eyes. We've heard with our ears. We are witnesses. Hallelujah. To the power of God. Hallelujah. We are the chosen generation. Believers in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Those that have chosen Jesus for mine. Hallelujah. Take this world. Give me Jesus. Hallelujah. The chosen generation, the royal priesthood, the holy nation, the baptized believers in Christ Jesus, the body of Christ. Come on and stand, stand up and show forth the praises of him who brought, who called you out of darkness into this marvelous light. Hallelujah. What you're saying, pastor, what I'm saying to you, if, if, if he prevents you from getting it, give him praise, honor, and glory. Hallelujah. If you have it, give him praise. Ah, oh, God, thank you. Hallelujah. Give him praise, honor, and glory. Hallelujah. Whether he, amen, prevents you from getting it, amen, keeps you through it, or he takes you home with it. Hallelujah. He's still worthy from the rising of the sun till the going down of the same. The name of the Lord is worthy to be praised because he brought me out of the biggest one. Hallelujah. Because if I die with Corona, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. It's just a means to an end to the believer. Absent from the body is present with the Lord. When this earthly house of this tabernacle would have dissolved, I got another building that made by hand, but eternal in the heaven. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. But if I die in sin, hell is my portion. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. After death, the judgment. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm talking to the saved folk today. I'm talking to the believers, the unbelievers. Repent, be baptized, receive the spirit of God, receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You won't have the fear because he won't give us. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love and a sound mind. And we have the love of God. We have that agape love and perfect love cast us out all fear. That's why we're not afraid. I'm not afraid of it. Hallelujah. I don't fear anything. I don't fear what man can do to me. I'm like David. I love David when he said, when my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, my literal flesh. He was talking about warfare, but we can say it in the spiritual aspect. Hallelujah. They stumbled and fell. Hallelujah. Thank you. I just love that statement because that's a warfare. If you ever got into a fight, if you ever squared up with anybody, y'all balled y'all fists and y'all was ready to go at it. The last thing you want to do or they want to do is fall down in front of you. Hallelujah. It's over. It's over. It is over. Hallelujah. At that point. Amen. Hallelujah. So when the enemy came, they stumbled because they can't stand up against my God. Not because, amen, I, I'm better than them. It's because my God is. My God is greater. Hallelujah. My God is awesome. 
and we, we praise and magnify and lift up his holy name. That's what you are today. Stand up to where God has brought you. Stand up to the God that have made you and created you and brought you. Amen. As, 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 as Mordecai said to Esther, he called you for such a time as this. We are the chosen generation. We are the believers at this moment. I saw this thing on Facebook where uh, 1920 and 1820, 1720, every hundred years, amen, a pan pandemic comes. Amen. Hallelujah. So every generation, I'm sure there were some believers that preached somebody through that. Hallelujah. That that led them through that and had prayer. Amen. Had last rites with some folk. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But they made it through. And that should be an encouragement. Amen. Hallelujah. That all is not lost. Even if it happened every hundred years. That's 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 we come through it every hundred years. Hallelujah. Some people lose their lives and we pray for the families. Amen. And we pray for the workers that's on the front line, the essential workers of this pandemic. But God needs the essential workers of the kingdom to show forth the praises of him who have called them out of darkness into the marvelous light. We need the light of God to shine in this dark hour. People say, I, we've never seen anything like that. And we have it. It's a dark hour in this world today. It was dark before, before Corona. And it's even darker now. So the people of God need to cut their lights on. Cut your little light on. Power go out. You look for candles, flashlight. Some folk got generators. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So it is time for us to cut our lights on in the midst of this darkness and point people to Christ and point people to Christ himself. I don't know. I can't find any toilet paper. I can't find any paper. I can't find any wipes. I can't find. Do you have Jesus Christ in your life? You don't have to look for him. Repent. Be baptized. It's time for us to stand up and not be afraid or shame or scared what people think. People who who I wouldn't think talk to to me about the Lord have been calling. Folk been calling about this. And I don't I don't glory in people's lo losing, their, losing their life. Amen. Hallelujah. But but I also say uh, this is a great opportunity for believers. To stand up. <clears throat> And preach Jesus Christ and him crucified and encourage somebody. And if you have extra items that you can share with somebody, please do. If you got more than enough for yourself, please do. They're saying maybe November, everything will be back to normal. Amen. We're far from that. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know. I don't know if they know. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we just, we just believe God. One thing I do know, I know Jesus. I know him to be a savior. I know him to be a healer. I know him to be a deliverer. I know people are living through this. Hallelujah. People are making it through. A whole lot of people are passing away. Some really good people. God always picks his flowers in bloom. Amen. I was listening uh, to James Cleveland. I stood on the banks of Jordan just to see the ships. Go sailing by. You took my mother. You took my father. He said it just like that. You took my father and you came back and took my mother. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just, I just, y'all know. Anybody lost their parents, y'all know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But he, he chooses his flowers in bloom. And so he, he and if you're, if you're grieving today, and why them? They were great. They were. They wasn't this and that, this and that. Hallelujah. And why would God do a, a thing like that? He's sovereign. He's sovereign. And some things are out of God's hand because life and death is in the power of the tongue. And so we, we what we say and what we do um, leads us down a road to goodness, to greatness, to mercy, to love, or to... The, he that believe in his baptized shall be saved. He that believe not shall be condemned. So we 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 are, we are sad and saddened by the loss of life, but our hope is in the Holy Ghost. 
And our hope and our prayer is that somebody will receive Christ before they pass away. And I don't know if they're allowing clergy into these hospitals. I don't know at all uh, to pray and give last rites or give last opportunity for people to give their life to Christ. But I pray if they if they don't, that they will. In the name of Jesus, and we're praying for every hospital and every every facility because they build in facilities to, to keep people. And so we are, we're praying. Amen. And we're looking for believers. Why are y'all home? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Why are you home? Have prayer service. Have Bible class. Put those kids in Sunday school. Y'all have Sunday school. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have Bible class or come check in on Bible class on Wednesday night. Go on YouTube, Agape Web TV. Amen. And go through those chapters in the Bible and y'all have discussion. If you don't, if you got a question you can't answer, call me. I don't, I don't claim to know everything, but I'll look it up if I don't know it. Hallelujah. Amen. And we can talk about God's word while, while you're home, while you're there. Amen. Hallelujah. We are the chosen generation. We are the we are the believers of today. We are the believers of today. It is said that the, the followers of Paul and Paul's letters, amen, couldn't be moved. And many of the other people that followed that other disciples, amen, amen, didn't quite stay with God, amen, in some circumstances. But but those that followed Paul, amen, was was unshakable because they was rooted and grounded in the word of God. And we are this chosen generation of today. We are the essential personnel of the kingdom for today. Roll up your sleeves. It's time to get to work. Let's get to work for the kingdom. Amen. God bless you, family. We love you in Jesus name. Amen. We are praying for you and you keep us in prayer and give us your prayer requests. Also, praise reports. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to shine our light. Amen. Hallelujah. The, in, of Jesus in darkness so men can see our good works. Amen. Not only to glorify God, but to accept him if they don't know him. This is uh, uh, missionary golden Giddings. Thank you. Amen. This is so important. It's so vital. It's not time to go hide in corners. We all have anxiety. We're human. I believe God. I know the power of God. Amen. But if I know you got it, no, I'm not going to walk up to you. I, that's, that's, we don't, we don't, we don't, um, um, what they call it. We, we don't, um, we don't charge God foolishly. Amen. We don't, we don't do that. We don't tempt the Lord. Yeah, that's what he should say. You don't tempt God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You don't tempt the Lord by doing stuff like that. Amen. Hallelujah. My sister Anita. Uh, she have allergies. I'm sure we praying for her every spring. Pray for Anita. If you can't find nobody else to pray for Elder Anita Fields. Amen. And every year, I mean, Gillespie, sorry, Freudian slip. Um, so, um, every year, every summertime, man, she walked, she was, she, she, it was miserable. And I would tea and I would pull the pollen off the cars and rub it on my face and messing with her. And later on, now y'all hear that cough, you you know, every spring, and so, so, you, you know, I teased her and, and I fell into it, some of those, some of those allergies and stuff, probably because I rubbed it in my face, you know? And so, and so, um, we glorify him and we lift him up. We magnify his name. And there's no time to get on folk. I was talking to somebody who would ask me about cremation. And, and I said to them, um, I believe it's a, it's a horrible thing to accuse a family and tell somebody that somebody's going to hell because they got cremated and that family didn't have the money. They didn't have the wherewithal. Now some people then they'll do it because it's cheaper. Now that's a different case. But, um, but those that could, had no other say, they had no other choice, no other means. I think it's a horrible thing when you're supposed to be comforting, uh, the bereaved to, to tell them now nah, you can't cremate. They're going to, you're going to send them to hell. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so that's, that's just terrible. Somebody gave their life to Christ and you can't bury them and you have them cremated. So you telling me that the cremation of the body after they have left the body and back with the Lord 
After from the body present with the Lord at death, the spirit returned to the creator that sent it. And so you're saying to me that I'm dead. I serve the Lord. I serve the Lord. I'm a believer in Christ Jesus. And I died and my soul went back to the Lord. And so my body, my carcass is left and you burn it. Amen. Hallelujah. Or oh, my family decides to burn it. Then, then, then I'm going to hell. I'm, I'm in, I'm with the Lord. And he said, no, you can't come. They burned your body. So you got to go back to hell. You got to go down to hell. No, that, that don't make sense to me. Amen. Hallelujah. And I think it's very, very cruel to say that to a family. Amen. Hallelujah. You're supposed to comfort them and keep and help them in, in their, in their hour of bereavement. And so, amen. Let's pray for folk and let's lift up people. And magnify the holy name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We praise and magnify your holy name. We come to you, God, in this dark hour as children of the light. And help us to shine the light of God in this darkness. That they may see the light and walk therein. And in this time, Lord God. Let people receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Let them repent of their sins. Turn from their wicked ways. Seek your face, God. You say you will hear from heaven. You'll forgive our sin. And you'll heal the land. We need healing today. This land need healing. We're calling on your holy name today. Every home, every family represented, every church, every ministry, Lord God, every community, schools, Lord God, whoever's listening today, let us call on your holy name. Hallelujah. And the believers here, the every Christian, every believer that's listening today, help us to stand on your delivering power. The things we've seen you do, the power we know that we possess down on the inside of our souls. Let it come forth now more than ever. Let the them that prophesy prophesy. Uh, let them that preach, preach. Let the teachers teach. Hallelujah. Thank you. Let the singers sing. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Now more than ever. In this generation. In this moment. At this time. When it's needed the most, God. Help us, Lord God. That's your children. To, to get out of the corners. And hiding under the beds. And stand on your word. And be covered by your word. And your blood. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Stand up and be believers. We have mediums like Facebook and other social media. That we can be sharing good news. Hallelujah. And great statements of faith and healing and deliverance. For your people. And asking folk. Hallelujah. Have you been delivered? Have you been set free? Are you saved today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the Holy Ghost covers Corona. Hallelujah. It covers sin itself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And help us, Lord God, to stand up as believers in these last and evil days. Bless us and we shall be blessed. Keep us and we shall be kept. These all are in all blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name. I pray. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And amen. Everybody with the Holy Ghost, you are essential personnel. Everybody with the Holy Ghost, you are essential personnel. To the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Stand up. Roll up your sleeves. Get to work. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. All that can be a blessing to the house of God. Um, I had a conversation with someone that um, took issue with the Cash App and the PayPal and the request. Um and they and I don't mind people if you have a disagreement. Amen. If you feel that um, something bothers you about what we say and do here, um, you're certainly welcome to call and talk to me. Amen. Don't try to bust me out online. And y'all notice I don't answer when people say stuff because I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. Amen. Uh, I was always taught you don't leave your office. Amen. You stay in your chair, stay in your seat. Where, where God has placed you, amen, and the devil and some folk will try to make you get up out of your chair, amen, to address 
where they are, you know. And so, um, and that's not talking about condescending to men of lower state. No, it's 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 a temptation, and it's sometimes folk will call try to call you out of your position where God called you to be. And I sit in my chair where He put me. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, um, <clears throat> and so, what they said to me was uh, the cash app and the and the request. Amen. They said we shouldn't charge for the for the word. Amen. And, 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 you know, you're not asking people to pay for the word of God. Now, I don't certainly do not. Amen. I have not been in too many services where they didn't take up an offering and even even take up offering for the speaker. Um, and so uh, it's along those lines. It's ministry information. And I, that's what I expressed to the person. Um, I post ministry information, our address, our services, and how you can give to the ministry. I, I, I don't think of any ministry that's online or or promoting their ministry anywhere that don't put some sort of way you can give. Amen. Most most people do that. And I'm not saying that because everybody else is doing it. I'm just saying I give uh, that cash app and all the other giving came as as a way of people wanted to give that don't live in this area. And so people that's in New York or uh, North Carolina, all over the world, and they can give to the ministry, amen, without having to go to a bank and uh, make or write a check and send a letter. Now, you can do that if you wish, amen, hallelujah. But um, but many people, amen, hallelujah, um, um, give that way because it's easier. It's a better way of giving. Amen. Hallelujah. And so I do it as a church and because it's easier for some people to do that rather than uh, they can't make it here. And if they mail it, it would take two weeks, amen, or a week or so to get here. Uh, so when I ask you and if you have an uh, issue with that or a problem with that, please let me know. I would like to know your, your thoughts on that because I don't want to do anything to offend anybody ever. Amen. But I do have to stay in the seat that God has placed me. Amen. And in the position that God has placed me. And so from my perspective, it has never been a fee for the word of God. I say what the Lord give me to say. Sometimes I forget to even ask. Amen. For an offering or if anybody can help the ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. And sometimes that's why I think, you know, you know anyway. Um, so because that, money is not the issue. I'm not here for money. I'm not here you know to do that and it was an old cat i looked at the video and it was an old cash app it was our old one amen it wasn't even the new one so it wasn't it doesn't even work anyway so um but if that's how you feel about that then let me know in the name of jesus so she they were well within their rights to bring it up if they felt some kind of way about it and so i just said no i never charge anybody for the word of god I, if people want to give to the church and the ministry that's their option to do. I really feel some kind of way about asking um, because, you know, because um, people think you're about money when you when you bring up money. And I'm not about money. I'm about the kingdom. I'm about souls getting saved. He me set free and delivered. Amen. In the name of my paycheck is when I see folk feel with the Holy Ghost. That's my personal paycheck. Uh, my personal paycheck when people's lives are changed. Hallelujah. That's where I get paid at. Amen. I get more joy off of that than anything else. Amen. Hallelujah. And so uh, what you give goes to Agape Worldwide Ministry. It pays our bills. Amen. Out of the things we need done here as a church. So um, I thank you. You can ask the members of Agape. You can ask the people that deal with the administration. You can ask our trustees. Amen. They'll tell you. Amen. Hallelujah. That is, this is for the church and this is for the ministry. Amen. I was short myself for Agape. Amen. Hallelujah. So, and most pastors will for their church. They will short themselves. Now you got a percentage out there that will rob every penny they can. Amen. But that's not here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Or save every penny. You got some folk, you got some misers out there. They don't want to spend nothing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the ministry falling apart because they don't want to give or spend anything to help things to keep going. But, Amen. I'm just I'm telling you for agape's sake. Amen. When you want to give here, it's for the ministry. And most services they have offering at the end of the service, 
or right in the middle of the service or at the beginning of the service. And so we, we do that. And Jesus dealt, that's who, that's who, um, uh, Judas Iscariot, he was the treasurer. He kept the money. Amen. And so Jesus had a treasurer. So they, they collected offering. Amen. Hallelujah. So, um, we have principle on that. We have, we have foundation on that. So I just wanted to share that with you because I want to, if anything bothering anybody, please let me know. And I know people because of the muting of the phones and echoes and, and I want to go over to our conference line ev eventually and, and try something wherein uh, it's no interference or I can just record it and post it later. Uh, and you can guys can listen to this later and hear it clearly. Amen. Hallelujah. Because that's why I turn it down to the to the people. So so I don't hear you. I can't hear you guys. But I can see what you post. Amen. Hallelujah. And so and I don't have people problem with people posting things. Just remember, this is a church uh, page. And so I don't like social media and just click likes and tell 12 people. Now, I personally don't like any of those. If y'all send those to me, I usually send it just back to you. Amen. I'm just going to tell y'all. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't like that 12, tell, tell 12 people and you're going to need to get a new car tomorrow. You know, so I, those, you know, and so social media posts um, on this page. I don't, I, prayer, prayer requests, testimonies of what God has done for you. Amen. It, it helps somebody. If y'all have a request and people have posted requests on it, I don't have no problem with it. Amen. Please do that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But no personal things on here. Amen. Comments is fine. Amen. If you disagree with me, talk to me. Don't post your disagreement on the page. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Give me the option of being able to um, answer you. Amen. Hallelujah. Not to, to the people. Amen. Hallelujah. And I will never answer those and I'll never respond to those because you won't pull me out of my seat that God has placed me in. Amen. I, I'm going to sit there. It took me, it took him too long to get me in that chair and for me to stay in that chair. I got up every five seconds in the beginning. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it was about everything else and everybody else except me and God and God and God and me and what he called me to do. And so I'm, I'm, I got, I'm firmly set and he had, he had to have seatbelts on the roller coaster seatbelts on me. Phil, sit down. I get up, but Lord, this is this and this. They saying this, they talking this and they think this. That's the main one right there. They think this. Sit down, boy. Hallelujah. Sit down. I, I sit in your seat that I called you to. I may have preached that one time. Sit in that seat and sit down. Don't move. And, you know, and every time there's something happen and I'm worried about what people say and think I'm jumping up. But now, no, nah. he removed the seatbelts. I'm sitting in the chair. I'm, I'm Pastor Renzel James Fields. I know who I am. Hallelujah. I know what he's called me to do. He's given me the ministry of love, agape, unconditional love. We don't judge folk. Pastor Phil, they did this over there. He let them exactly unconditional love. Hallelujah. They wouldn't do this and they didn't. But Pastor Phil, he exactly. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's the ministry he gave me. Unconditional love. He said, don't judge anybody. I got Bible for it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. John 3, 16 and 17. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The 17th verse, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. Lord Jesus, let me let that marinate for a second. But that the world through him might be saved. So salvation can't come through condemnation. If you judge them in sin and lead them in sin, where is salvation? You might be right on what on your judgment. But how are they saved if you judge them in sin? I come to seek and to save them which are lost. Unconditional love. That's the ministry he gave me. He said he showed his unconditional love to me and told me to share it to as, as many people that will receive it. And that's what I have done before I became a pastor. Uh, Antioch family can tell you that. I showed unconditional love to the robbers corral. I showed unconditional love to the men's choir. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The gospel choir. Hallelujah. Amen. That ministry has always been in my heart. That's the ministry he always has given me. 
And that's what I stand on. God's unintended. That's what I was saved by. God's unconditional love. I deserved hell itself. He snatched me out of darkness. Put me on the street called straight. Established my goings. Put a new song in my lips. And I thank God for it. And I'm all the better because of his love. And I'm standing here only because you made a way. I didn't mean to say all this. I try to keep it to a half an hour, but I, I'm not, I'm not taking it back. Amen. In the name of Jesus, God bless you, family. Love you in Jesus' name. And I'll, and I'll see you guys next time. In the name of Jesus, I'll close in Scripture. First Timothy, first chapter, seventeen, verse now to the King, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say. Amen. Show somebody the unconditional love of God, for this is the agape way. God bless you, family. Love you in Jesus' name, and I'll see you guys next time. God bless you. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invites you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Boudinot Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.